What I meant in this uh, prison book was not that the uh, disciplinary society starts with the development of prisons. The, uh, I would say exactly the contrary. Since the problem uh, which struck me when I was studying this field was this one. Uh, when you read uh, the books written by the reformers or the social, yes, the social reformers of the 18th century, uh, you notice a very st uh, strong aggressivity against any system as the imprisonment. For a very simple reason, it is that the prison was, at least in the French, in the Italian, in the German system, in the English one was a little different, but not, uh, prison was not at all a punishment. It was an administrative measure which was taken against people outside of the law, outside of the juridical system, outside of the judicial institutions, only when the, uh, the administration, the monarchic power, wanted to get rid of somebody. They put them in jail. So jail was exactly the uh, contrary of what people were looking for uh, when they wanted to build or to figure out a new good penal justice. And the criticism of prison is general in the middle of the 18th century. Then you look at, at what happened and what was organized and institutionalized in the, at the end of the 18th century with the new penal, co penal codes in France, in, in Germany and so on, and then you find prison everywhere. It was the main means, the major means of punishment. And why this change? And uh, that was my problem, and that, was, that is the theme of the book. And I had the, the feeling that the reason was that, in spite of the fact that prison was the symbol of the monarchy arbitrary, arbitrariness, 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 in spite of that, they found that prison and imprisonment could be a very good means, a very good tool in order to not only to punish, but to reform prisoners and inmates. And this uh, uh, reform, this uh, change, in the mind, the attitude, in the behavior, and so on. Uh, uh, how could they imagine they, they can obtain it? Through disciplinary techniques. And those disciplinary techniques, where did they found them? In school, in the army, where they have been used since the middle of the 17th century. And they have tried to build penal institution on the model not of the ancient prison, but on the model of school, army, and so on. And so you can see the penal system as an expression or a consequence, one of the last consequences of this disciplinary system which has been developed in order in other institutions. And as it happens often, this final uh, application of the disciplinary system became then a model for a new development of those disciplinary techniques in other fields. And the, uh, the panopticon, the Bentham panopticon, is very uh, interesting from this point of view, because Bentham had this idea of the panopticon in order to organize a good prison, a good prison where people could be treated, uh, formed, uh, uh, reformed, and so on, as in a disciplinary institution. And then, after the, having this idea, he had the idea that this panopticon could be used also for factories, for uh, uh, schools, and so on. You see? this development. So, 